How you doing, Silver Sleuth? Coming at you with another gold panning adventure. Actually, I got the sluice box out today. I got my son Wyatt with me, and I got Halo with me. She's preoccupied with the stick. I'm gonna spin this back around, show you my setup, show you what we got going on here. I'll be right back with you. Okay, we're working this glacial deposit right here. There's some good sized rocks here. If you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen me hit that stump right there. I actually brought my crevice tools. There's actually no shovel. I'm going to scoop out of here and we're going to pan that one out. Some good sized rocks here, you know. They're four, six, four to six inches at least. Some good rocks. And then over here, I got the sluice box set up, so we're going to run some material today. Got an empty bucket right there. Wyatt's gonna sit on there and he's gonna feed the sluice box. Let's get busy. We're gonna start right up here at the very start of this inside bend. I got a half inch class fire screen right there set up in my bucket. I got a filled with water because I'm gonna try and rinse all these big rocks instead of just trying to dry classify. We're all getting flower gold here in Michigan. That's all we're gonna get. I'll show you what I'm doing here in just a second. Now. We don't get big nuggets in Michigan, so this just gets pitched away. Oh, inside that boulder. That's a big old one. That's every bit six, seven inches. I'm just going to repeat that till I fill the bucket and then I'm going to bring that down to Wyatt and he's going to feed, run that classified material through the sluice box. All right, Wyatt's over here running the classified material through the sluice box. About half, two thirds of a bucket. It's too heavy to carry if I fill it down completely. So we'll run that material through the sluice. So while Wyatt's doing that, I'm going to head back up over there where that gold pan's at. I just actually had four pieces of gold in that first pan, a little test pan right there. So I'm going to go up there with another five gallon bucket, classify some more material. While I'm doing that, Wyatt's going to feed. And we're going to keep our little system going. Not going to record the whole time. So, and we got Halo over here chewing on a little stick. That's a pretty big size stick, but she has fun also. Get back to you in a little bit. All right, I got the driver's seat now. I'm going to feed the sluice and boy, it's going to do the other work. This is bucket number four classified material. got a surprise coming. It's supposed to be here on Monday. This baby's going to be modified on Monday. I was hoping it got here before this weekend, but it didn't make it. But I got the parts coming to convert this over to a super sluice. And that means I will not have to classify material no more. I can just directly scoop through the shovel and feed right into the sluice. And I will give you a demo in that video. Hopefully next weekend. It's his first time out. I'm excited. He's making me proud. We got a two week vacation plan for this summer. Coronavirus. 
will go away, we can do it. So, just wanted to show you me feeding a few scoops of dirt material through the uh, sluice box. And probably gonna call it quits after this bucket right here. I'm a little hungry, it's gotta be oh, about six, seven o'clock. Gotta go home and make dinner. So we'll get back to you when we start doing our cleanup on this. Okay, we've ran four buckets of the classified material through the sluice box here. Now it's time to do the cleanup. Yeah, we're gonna gently pick that up. There's gold, there's gold. There's gold right here. There's gold right here. There's gold right here. So, we're gonna have a good cleanup on this. Come up over there. We're gonna start dumping it right into this bucket right here. So we're going to put this end in first. So that's the end that would have had all the gold would have been up on the front end of that. And I'm just going to grab this gold pan right here. Over here. Back over there, please. Screw it up my video. I'm going to flip it over the other way. Drop down into the bucket. Water, you just go right there. And I'll set that aside. Perforated metal. Set that aside. Remember, I got gold down here in the ridge of, right down here in the red. Let me get the carpet out of there first. I'm rolling it backwards right now. Now we're gonna put the sluice in here and rinse the sluice down. out of the rib matting. I'm just going to throw this back together real quick. Just 
loose it back together. Look at all that black sand in there. This is all the concentrate right here. Make sure you get all that out of there. That's one rinse bucket. All right, that work the material. We're gonna stratify. Get all the heavies down the bottom. Oh, it's just loaded with black sand. You pull it out of there. See all that black sand? I'm going to give you a sneak peek what's in here. I think what we're going to do is take this back to the home and work with a small pan just because there's so much black sand in here. All right, you ready for this? It's all black sand right there. I gotta work it down more. Too much blind sand still. nervous when I start seeing all the black sand coming up near the edge. A few rocks right there. So much material in here, I can't get it to come off the edge. So we're gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna take it back home, put it in a smaller pan so we don't lose any of this concentrate right here. And we're gonna show you what we got for our clean out once we get home. I got all the concentrate put into my nine inch pan right there. Gonna put some jet dry in here. We gotta take the surface tension out of there. Now let's see if we can work this down. sand. It's going to take a little while to work all this out of here. There's 
some rocks in here also. Rinse them off real good. Pull them out. actually got a small dish put away the concentrates for me to go through at a later date I'm just trying to show you what we did today all the blonde sand comes back to the surface as I worked at again Gonna wash the blonde sands out of there. I'm hoping all my heavies are right down the bottom. That's where they should be. I need to get a concentrate table so I can do this a lot easier. But as you can see, that's just all black sand right there. Each time I do this, I work a little bit more of this blonde sand out of it. flower gold so it's a slow tedious process And I've got some of my black sand in there, which I don't want down in there. So this is all going to get put in my concentrate jar. more bubbles See what we got in here. I can see gold in there. Problem is, I got it all over in there. Then tap it this way, gets it over to the side. really start to see it over on the side right there. Just the lighting doesn't get you. See all that gold right there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
there's at least 12 pieces of gold right there. So I'm gonna work on cleaning this up a little bit. I'm not gonna bore you through the whole thing. I figured it was all cleaned up. I'm gonna put all this stuff in the pan after I get it all sorted and, and show you just how much gold we found today. Be back in a little bit. I got all the flour gold I could get out of that and then my gold sucker right here. Let's see what we got today. I know you can't see it right now, but I got a lot of gold in this pan. See all that? I bet there's over 30 pieces in there. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Please subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Please like, share, and comment below. And you'll never find it if you never look for it. Happy hunting.